Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome on back to a brand new episode of our Sky Factory World. Oh jeez, we got a we got a spider who's gonna give us some problems because we don't have a sword. So, what do I wanna do today? Well, today I wanna I wanna automate these trees. I wanna set up these trees in an automated pattern so that we have automation going. So I wanna set up a tree farm in short. Something to get us some dirt because like I said, I wanna do a building episode relatively soon. On building up the start of our base and I can't do that right now because right now we don't have resources I need a lot of dirt and the best way to get that is to set up some sort of tree farm we're going to be using these hopping bonsais but for that we need brick which means I need some clay and I also need some iron for the hoppers we can't use wooden hoppers we actually have to use iron hoppers which is a little bit of a problem but I've gone ahead and I've grinded out at least a stack of these. So we should be able to make a stack of iron amber and a stack of clay. And then I can smelt them down. So let's just have a look at this very quickly. Iron. Oops. Iron is an N, not an M. Iron. Where's my iron amber? Here it is. So we should be able to make ourselves up some. There we go. There we go. And clay. So clay does not have an IR at the beginning of it. Jeez, I tell you, words sometimes can be very difficult to spell. And there we go, we got ourselves a stack of clay. Is this in this pack? I think it was. Yes. So, we're going to go ahead and just smelt up these clay balls into brick. And we're also going to go ahead and fire up this amber in our smeltery that we made up last episode. Uh, where's the other one? There it is. There we go. We're also going to go fire this up in our smeltery. I'm running low on food, so I can't vote at the minute. But I don't just want to set up a tree farm in this episode. I also want to look at getting Tinker's tools set up. I think that would be really kind of fun to do. I want to have a set, myself a set of proper tools as opposed to these stone crappy ones. So we are going to need even more iron come later. So yeah, I'm going to let this iron smelt up into seared stone. Uh, not into seared stone, sorry, into liquid iron. And then I'm going to pour it out into here. As you can see, we got ourselves plenty of seared brick coming up from last episode. So yeah, I'm going to get that done and then I'll be back with you. So now that I've got my brick and I've got my iron, we're going to look in the advancement book. And we're going to look on the third screen, the Age of Farming screen. You can see that we've got this bonsai here. And I've already crafted a bonsai, but I'm going to go through it with you. All you do is you take brick and you do sort of like a U shape. Not a full sh U shape like we do the cauldron, but just a sort of like a C U shape, if you will. And that gets us our bonsai pots. And these are really, really cool because we can put these down... Uh, like so. We'll, we'll just put this down here for temporarily. We can put this down. We can get ourselves a sapling and a piece of dirt. We can right click the dirt in here like so. Then we right click the sapling in there. And what that's going to do is it's going to grow the sapling within our bonsai pot like so. As you can see, it's grown. Once that's fully grown, we can take an axe. We can right click it and get that piece of tree out of there. This allows us to grow trees in a very small Sort of like shape in a small area instead of having big fields like this. We just need the one. Oh, I didn't let that grow quite enough. So let's let that grow. Now the tree's fully grown. All we need to do is right click it. And that will pop it off and give us some of its drops like you can see. We got a bit of oak wood for that. But I really had oak wood in my inventory. So this is pretty good for doing that. But this isn't the only thing that we can do with this. We can actually take this a step further. So is this an axe that I use for this? Yes, it is. Now if we were to take... If we were to craft ourselves a hopper, like so, and then put the hopper in here along with the bonsai pot, we will get what's called a hopping bonsai. And these are really, really cool. So we're going to go over here to my little setup. We're going to set down a chest. We're going to take this hopping bonsai pot. We're going to put it on top like so. What we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of dirt in here like that. We're going to take a tree. I actually want a dirt tree for this particular one. So we're going to grab a dirt sapling. I should have some around here. Yes, we got a dirt sapling. And all we're going to do is literally right-click the dirt sapling into here. And that's going to grow for us. And the good thing about this is when it grows, we will not have to right-click it with the axe. It's going to automatically put it in this chest. So, if we watch that, that'll do that. But briefly, while that does that, I just want to show you, I did go mountain clearing up and around this apple tree to get most of the apples out of it. So we had some food. Did do that. This is my little pillar staircase here. But yeah, if we go back now, we should be just in time to see it finish growing. Come on, little tree. I believe in you, the tree that could. There we go. And we've now got these drops. And this is going to just do this passively while we are running around here doing other stuff. This is going to do it. Now, 
There are other ways to store in this game, and I just want to briefly look at those um, a moment to see if there's a way that we can store better than a chest. Uh, and we've, we've tried this barrel, uh, which allows us to store one item. I want to see if this crate here allows us to store more than one item. And it's really kind of easy to make. All it is, is some barrels like so. Now, I don't know if this is going to or not. It looks like it doesn't. It allows us just to store one of the items, which is unfortunate. It's kind of unfortunate. I'd like a way to be able to store four items. Uh, maybe this metal one does it, but this requires us to have a plate cast. And to be able to make a plate cast, uh, we need... Plates. Can I make a plate out of stone? Maybe. No. Let's see if there's another way to briefly make a plate cast. Uh, there's the enrichment chamber, which we can't do just yet. There's obviously that. Forging hammer. How do we make the forging hammer? Uh, that might be a possibility. Let, let, let's briefly try this. So, what was the forging hammer? I think I needed some slabs as well for the forging hammer. Not sure how this works. This is completely new to me, guys. Completely new to me. Uh, I need some stone. Okay, I do have some stone. I think it's over here, my stone. Come on, stone. Where are you hiding? Be hiding somewhere where I'm looking. Nope. Okay, I know I have stone. I know I have stone. It was in this chest. I just overlooked it. Okay. So I don't know if this is going to allow us to store four or not, but it would be nice if it does. Okay, so let's go put this forging hammer down. Um, we need iron in there. I'm not sure how this works. I've never used this before in my life. Um, let's have a look. Let's say we just put stuff in there. Maybe we need more than one iron. Oh, yes, we needed two. So that's going to forge that and make us an iron plate. Oh, good. Goody. There we go. There's that iron plate. We could put more in there. Actually, yeah, we'll do it this way. We only need six. So one, two, one, two, one, two. That's going to do we need six. So, yeah, I'm going to get these done, and then I'll be back with Okay, so now that we've got them done, let's go and craft this up. This is going to be interesting to see. Not sure how this one's going to work. It might just store one item. Yeah, it looks like it just stores one item. Okay, so that, that didn't kind of work the way I was hoping it would work. But at least we've got this now, so... I don't know, let, let, let's make use of it. Um, should we just put it, like, on here? Oh, does it actually keep the items that's in it? Oh, that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> that is awesome. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just fill this out a little bit more with some more trees. I want to get some... Iron trees going, some gold trees, that kind of stuff, and then I'll be back with you. So guys, I've got a little bit of an orchard going here, but what I want to do now is craft up the last sapling, sort of like in this sort of like tech tree. We've obviously got this one to do, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I want to worry about the diamond sapling. And to get the diamond sapling, all we need is a redstone sapling, a lapis resin, two gold resin, and some silver resin, and that makes us our diamond sapling. And instead of building up one of these orchards like I usually do, I could just right click this into here. And that's going to make it do it for us. We're already getting ourselves some iron by just sort of sitting here. And some silver. I've got lead, tin, gold, and now diamond here. I'm going to put another set up here. Uh, make sure you leave a block above these. So we've got this block. You need to leave the block above it, otherwise these will not grow. So the next chest I'm going to put is there. So we're not going to be able to see the next sort of like hoppers. I'm going to have to take that out. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to get on that and then I'll be back with you. Welcome on back, folks, and I've got them in place now. The only one I haven't done is cotton wood. I can't see a reason for cotton wood right now. So I've, I've done all of the other ones. We've got some up there. You can't quite see them, but we can access the chest. we got coal. we got ourselves the lapis. We've got redstone and so on and so forth. Now, I've used a bit of an old school Minecraft trick. This doesn't... We don't need to use this anymore in 115 because it's been changed. But back in 112 when this was, mod pack was released... You couldn't put two chests next to each other like this. You actually had to use a trap chest. So you could tell there that it's a trap chest by just sort of like red bit on the front there. As of 115, it might have been 114 or even 113. You could actually put chests next to each other without needing a trapped chest. So, bit of an old school method. I forgot all about that. So yeah, 
that is, that is kind of done. And I, I, I think I want to replace the storage system at some point here to make it a little bit more uh, concise a little bit. But I, I'll have a base building episode in the, in an upcoming episode, I think. I, I don't think we're going to do it in here. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to turn our attention to the advancement buck once more. Uh, we'll get ourselves diamonds before the end of today. But more specifically is this sort of tech tree here. What's this? Craft a tinker's tool or weapon and add a modifier to it. Okay, inflict 20 or more damage to a creature. Okay, fair enough. Not going to worry too much about these. What I am going to worry about is this particular one down here. And that's getting these tinker stuff set up. So, tinkers is a great mod. It allows us, if we look at... Well, we can't look at any because for some reason it doesn't bring tinkers up. Uh, if we type in at tinkers. But if we just scroll through, I should be able to find tinkers relatively easy. It's not a very difficult mod to find. Found it! So it looks like it's near the end. It's normally near the beginning of this page. But as you can see, we've got all these different things from Tinkers here. And these are different parts of different tools that we can use. And we can make ourselves pretty much any tool out of pretty much any resource within the game. And so Tinkers is a great way. But to even start that, we need to we need to get into Tinkers a little bit. And that requires us to have some wood. Now, Tinkers is very difficult to get into. It's very easy, actually. Uh, but before we can get into anything, we need something called Patterns. And we make that by grabbing some sticks grabbing some planks and just doing this there we go we got ourselves can we get a stack of patterns that'd be nice yes we have cool so if we have a look at the book it tells us here the tables that we need to make we need to make a tool station a part builder a con uh, stencil table a pattern chest this armor one which is new i've not used the armor one before so i'm kind of kind of looking forward to that so let's start with the oh that's not how you make a craft table let's start with the tool station if we go here we can make a crafting table we take a crafting table and we put a pattern on top of the crafting table like so in the crafting grid we can make a tool station if we put this tool station down over here this is how we are going to craft up all of our tools now what this tool station could craft up is limited this could only craft up stuff that are non-metal so wood stone it's good for the early game but we don't want that we don't want We that. want to be able to craft iron tools. That's what we're kind of going for here is iron tools. And for that, we need this forge ahead here, which is a tool forge. So if we look at this, there are a couple of ways that you can craft this. Tool forge. Because we can make ourselves... Is that a... Oh, it's a cobalt one. I thought that was a lapis one for a second. Then We can make it pretty much out of any resource. This signalum looks really, really nice. But again, iron's what we've got. So we need four blocks of iron. Four seared brick, any type of seared brick, and the tool station itself. So, let's go make ourselves up another tool station. Uh, like so. We've already know how to do this. We've done this before. We need our seared brick, which is over here, and our iron, which should be over here. So, seared brick. Do I have any iron in here? I have one block of iron. So, I think I put my iron away in one of these chests, like, like a numpty. Let's have a look. It should be in here somewhere. Iron, iron, where art thou? Okay, finally found my iron. So now that we've got our iron, we've got our seared brick. Let's make up those into bricks. We've got our tool forge. We can go ahead and craft up this tool forge. I actually started to craft up some more iron because I couldn't find it. Then I stumbled across it. So, let's look at the forge. Uh, we don't want the armor forge. We want the tool forge. We will need the armor forge at some point. But I'm not going to worry too much about the armor forge yet. Just because my supply of iron is relatively low. So now that we've got this, we can craft up some iron tools, but there's a very specific way that we need to do this. We can't just go in here and start crafting them up, you know. We need to make these uh, pieces here. So this is where the next set of tables come into ha comes into play. And what we're going to look at now is if we take a plank and another pattern, we can create something called a stencil table. And this stencil table allows us to create stencils of various things. So I'm just going to leave a few of those patterns behind in my inventory. But we're going to put the rest in here. And we're just going to look at a pickaxe for right now. So, if we go back to this tool station or the tool forge. So, whatever you can craft in the tool station, you can craft in the tool forge. There's no need to have both. I just like to have both. Uh, and for the purpose of this tutorial, it'll help out some. If we look at the pickaxe head, we can see that we need a pickaxe head, a binding, and a tool one. It tells you over here what you need. So, if we go to the stencil table, we can start crafting up the stencils for them. There's our tool rod. Uh, we needed a binding, there's our binding, and we needed a pickaxe head. Brilliant! We've got our stencils. But if we were to go to the tool forge, we can't do anything with these stencils. We can put them in here, but they don't do anything. 
And that's because we don't use them in here. We need to craft up one more thing. And this is where we take an oak plank or any, sorry, not any plank, any log, any wood along with a blank pattern. And that allows us to create this part builder. If we put the part builder down. We can right click the part builder. We can put this in the part builder. And out of this, we can start to craft stuff. So if we were to take our cobblestone and we were to make ourselves a stone binding, and we do this with all of the ones like so, we could get ourselves all of the stuff for a stone tool. If we were to go into into this tool station, the original one, and we go to into here, we could put our stuff in here like so and make ourselves a stone pickaxe. Brilliant. We got ourselves a stone pickaxe. But you may be like, okay, you know what? I want to jump in straight away and make iron. Let's go and put iron in. Oh. Doesn't come out. Why, why, why can't I make iron? And that is because to make iron, we need to do things a little bit differently. This is a metal. It is an alloy. We need to smelt it down. And if we go over here, you can see that I've already got some gold and some iron in here. Because to be able to do this, we need to create something called a cast. We've already done an ingot cast. But what we're going to do now is we're going to make up some tool rods. We're going to make ourselves a pickaxe cast. And we, we aren't going to use the pickaxe itself. What we are going to use are these tools. Again, these, these stencils. We're going to go into the part builder. We're going to make ourselves one of each of these stencils. So we're going to make ourselves this stone binding. We're going to make ourselves the tool rod. We're going to also make ourselves the pickaxe head. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to here. We're going to take our stencil. We're going to pop our stencil in after taking our ingot cast out. We're going to set this to gold. We select the metal that we want by clicking it. If we were to click iron and put iron at the bottom, it's always going to pour from the bottom. And then we just pour the gold around this. What that's going to do is that's going to create us a cast of that. So once we've got our cast, we're going to make change to the iron. We're going to fill this with iron and that's going to make us an iron binding. So now we've got our iron binding. We're going to take our tool rod, put our tool rod down. We're going to swift this over to gold. I think I'm going to run out of gold here. Oh no, it's blocks, not ingots. My bad. And we're going to switch over once we've got this. Switch over, pour in our, uh, our iron so we can get our iron tool rod. Now, when we do this, so for example, we put the pickaxe head in. As soon as we cast the pickaxe head cast, it's going to destroy this pickaxe head. So if we look at here, we don't actually have the stone ones. We've got our iron ones because uh, the hopper's already pulling them out. Or you could just right click to take them out. You don't need the hopper like I do. But it will destroy the first one that you put in. So there we go. We've got ourselves now, once this is dried, we've got ourselves our iron tool rod. We got ourselves our iron binding. And we got ourselves our iron pickaxe set. So we could go over here. If we were to go into the tool station and try to craft this in the tool station, it's not going to let us. Oh, maybe it does let us. Okay. Oh, yes, of course, this just allows us to craft these ones. It was changed. That's my bad, guys. My bad. My bad. It's, I, I'm out of practice with this tool forge. But anyway, let's go into here. Let's craft up our iron pickaxe. Brilliant. We got ourselves the iron pickaxe. So we don't need that stone one anymore. We've got this iron one. Now, at this point, our inventory is going to start getting cluttered. Because if we were to look at the rest of these, like if we were to make ourselves a sword, we need... Sword blade, wide guard, an axe. We need a axe head. We need a lot of these. So we're going to end up swamping our inventory with these. But there is a cool thing in the pack that allows us to store these a little bit better. And all we need is a chest and a blank pattern. That allows us to create this pattern chest. And if we were to put this pattern chest down, we can store in all of our things. Now, you can't store in... You can store in either... The metallic ones, the casts, or the stencil pattern. You can't store both. So it might be worthwhile having two of these. Now at one point in some mod packs, you can actually store both in one chest. But obviously in this pack, that's not a thing. So we're going to make up another one of these like so. Put this down and pop those in. So we've got a place to store all of these and that is brilliant. So... I'm going to get on making the basic tools. I'm going to make a sword, an axe, and a shovel. I'm not going to worry too much about the extra tools. We'll cover that in the next episode. But yeah, let me get to that and I'll be back with you. Guys, I've got myself a set of iron tools here. we got ourselves the iron broadsword, the iron pickaxe, the iron hatchet, and the iron shovel. And normally I make up Alice Copper and Flint, and Clint, yeah, Flint Eastwood. That's it. Which are my usual sword and pick and axe in this series. But... 
I don't have access to copper yet. I don't even know if copper's in this pack, to be honest with you. But it, it doesn't look like it. There's it usually a copper forge. But yeah, so if we take a look at the book now, we've got ourselves this one. We need to do the armor one. We need to craft ourselves a lumber axe and a yo-yo. But for those, I need more iron before we can start getting into that. Right now, my iron supplies are dwindling. So I need to sort of AFK a bit. Let my tree farms sort of generate myself some iron. But there is one thing that we can do first, and that is to make ourselves diamonds. So, let's go ahead and see what it takes to make a diamond. I'm guessing it's only going to let us craft the... Do we have to craft diamond amber? Okay, so we have to craft diamond amber. So how do we get diamonds? Oh, we need to make a gem cast. Okay. So, I need an emerald to make a gem cast. Okay, this is getting interesting. This is getting interesting. So, you do not trade for emeralds, do you? No, sir, you do not. So, is there another way to get diamonds that I just haven't seen yet? We could have used diamond acorns. Really? I go ahead and craft up this diamond em amber. Oh, look at that. We've got enough. We've got enough acorns to make a diamond. Oh, brilliant. I've never had to make diamonds in the Tinker Smeltry before, so this is going to be a first. But there's our diamond. Let's go put our diamond amber in here so we can craft up ourselves a gem cast. Oh, actually, no. The gem cast requires... What does it require? It requires emerald, doesn't it? Yeah, look. It requires emerald. There's no option to do this as diamond. Oh. Although I suppose we could just, yeah, we could just smelt this down and craft it into blocks. So if we were to do not, oh, we can't. Okay, this is getting even more interesting now. To do a block, it requires a temperature of 1,459. And our temperature is only 1,000. So maybe I need another ticket to Oh, this is interesting. But I think that we've got a way to get diamonds now, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. I just wanted to kind of tick it off in the book here. And that's that done. But yeah, guys, I think that is going to call it for this episode. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel. I really do appreciate it. So please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey. I want to thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.